The next material we're going to look at is the shellac. I'm going to draw a plane out here and pull up our material editor. And on our material material editor, we're going to click on the standard. We're going to come down to shellac. And on this, what this is going to do is it's going to add a double layer to this plane. So we're going to have a, our base layer, which is in this case going to be like a floor, and the shellac material is going to be like the varnish that's on top of the wood on the floor. So it'll be a, a glossiness above the wood. So before we can start, we've got to set our base material. So we'll click on the base material. We'll come down to diffuse. We're going to choose a bitmap because we're going to use a picture. I'm going to go grab my picture and I'll be right back. Alright, I've got my pine picture for the flooring. So I'm going to click on show shaded material and then we're going to go back up to the parent. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this to our plane. And now we'll go to our shellac material. And on this one, we're going to use our coloration here. And I'm going to choose a color that's a little a yellowish color. And we're going to want to change our opacity down to about 90. We're going to set our color at about 30. And our specular level, we're going to set that to about 130 to give that a shot. Make sure we turn that on. And we're going to blend it at a 50-50 blend. And then we'll render that out to see what we have here. And I've got a little bit of adjustments to do so we'll come back down and it takes some of the saturation off of that color and I'm also gonna bump down our specular level a little bit or we render that all right we're going to reset our scene. We're going to draw another plane. We're going to put a sphere above the plane and get it fairly close. We're going to pull up our material editor again. And I'm going to go to a new block. And on this block, we're going to put a checkerboard material and apply that to our plane. And we're going to increase our tiling on this. we'll choose the next block and in this block we're going to go down to ray trace and we're going to use the reflection and on the reflection we'll set that as a light gray and we're going to apply that to our sphere And then we're going to render this out so you can see what the ray trace does. And if you look, you've got a reflection in the sphere of the floor. So to get a little bit better idea of what's going on, we're going to swap out this checkerboard with our pond floor that we did earlier. And it's red because we haven't rendered it yet. So when we render it, you see the pond floor we have with the reflection of it inside the sphere there.